am Annette Pasternak, the Stop Skin Picking Coach, and today I'm going to talk to you about sugar and especially sugar substitutes that we can use. What makes a healthy sugar substitute? Why is this important? Well, you might have seen my video last week, which was on the effects of sugar on skin picking and specifically three examples where you saw graphs from my clients. Um, Three clients who really not that much was working for them until they eliminated sugar and you know where you see the picking and then there was like a flat line no picking um, so really important to fact that I've seen in most people I have to say including myself um, the keeping the sugar down is really important so you know but we love sweet things right we love uh, to have our sweet things so um, I want to talk today about what we can eat instead, uh, especially when we're doing a sugar elimination. So I talk in my book a lot about, you know, how to do sugar elimination, the specific things to take out and what to look for um, real briefly right now. You want to make sure to take out all sugar from processed foods. I mean, ideally you want to take out the processed foods, like things that come in a package and have multiple ingredients, that kind of thing um because they all have some kind of sugar in them and i talk in my book about the different names that you know are codes for different types of sugars and whatnot um but for now you know what i want to focus on like when you're totally eliminating sugar what you can eat instead and you certainly can eat natural sugar containing foods uh, like fruits and vegetables you know and those will start to taste even sweeter when you've stopped eating the all the added sugars your taste buds adapt so you know within a pretty short amount of time I don't really remember how long but um, within a couple of weeks I think you uh, will taste everything like normal foods will taste a lot sweeter and then you know going back to real sweets they'll they'll actually taste too sweet so I, this morning I was writing a blog post in a coffee shop and I asked for just a smidge of honey in my tea and it came back way too sweet. So I, I'm just always better off just getting it unsweetened completely. Anyway, uh, so I have here a few examples of good um, sugar substitutes. Now there are some healthy things or healthier choices than sugar like raw honey is good and maple syrup's good, you know, those have a lot of nutrients and beneficial things in their whole foods. But for when you're doing the sugar elimination, I mean, they still have the effect of raising your blood sugar, as does, I want to say, you know, fruit, I generally say is okay, but not fruit juice, okay, because that's just without the fiber, it just shoots up your blood sugar. Okay, so what can you eat instead? Well, most of us by now have heard about stevia. So stevia um, is an herb, like a leaf, you know, kind of like instead of mint, there's stevia, uh, and it's very sweet. So you can use the leaves to sweeten things. Now there are a lot of products these days, um, you know, Truvia is an example. Uh, probably the biggest one is made by a Coca-Cola company. And unfortunately, the Truvia has got some, I mean, the, the way they purify the stevia and uh, extract it with, um, they, they actually do it with a bunch of solvents that are not real healthy. And then it's mixed with erythritol, which is not a bad sweetener at all, but they're getting it from GMO corn. So, you know, if that's a concern for you, then I would stay away from that particular kind of stevia and a lot of the stevias. Now there's a couple of better options. Now this one I wouldn't say is the best option. This is the stevia in the raw. And the thing about this one is um, it does contain dextrose, which is glucose, which is sugar. I mean, it's not table sugar, but it makes up, it's one of the uh, sugars that make up table sugar. So um, dextrose is in here. Um, you know, and then your stevia leaf extract. Uh, a better pro option probably is some liquid stevia. So this is one that Trader Joe's has, and it's really, it's extracted with some alcohol. There's alcohol, stevia extract, and water, and that's it. Um, now, the thing about stevia, 
some people like it. Some people think it tastes great. And other people, myself included, don't like it at all. So we've actually had these two things in the house for at least a year. And that just nobody really likes it in my family. So um, I would say that stevia is not bad in a cold drink like lemonade or iced tea. I actually could drink it, no problem, even though I typically don't. But um, what is... Uh, disgusting in my opinion is when you put it in something hot so I really did not like it in hot tea or uh, coffee you know for example wouldn't be um, my choice and I don't think you can bake with it either now our current favorite is this monk fruit sweetener instead so the only drawback of this compared to stevia or some of the other sweeteners is that it's pretty expensive. So this is a small one. We're almost out of this. I can show you what it looks like, but we're almost out. So we're going to buy uh, the bigger one. Um, I think the smaller one was like $7. It's pretty expensive, but you can get one four times the size for like $18. Oh, and I'm smelling it and it smells really good. See, this is what it looks like. <laughs> I don't want to tip it over. And so this is the golden one. They do have a white one too, but the golden one um, seems to taste better. It's like brown sugar. It's really yummy. My husband loves this. He tried a different kind and he said uh, he has the other kind at work and he said it's not as good as this one. So it's Lakanto. This is a Japanese company. And it also has that erythritol that I was talking about. But in this case, the erythritol is not from GMO corn. And um, so that's, that's a really good option. And you can bake with that. And that doesn't have an aftertaste. Like, it tastes good. So, uh, yeah. So those are a couple of reasonable sugar sweeteners. Or non-sugar non sweeteners. Um, the monk fruit and the um, stevia. So, and they're, you know, they're non-caloric and they don't raise your blood sugar. So that's, you know, really ideal as far as the picking goes. So something to try with that. Uh, I do also have, I can't remember if I showed you that I do have some raw honey. You know, honey, you want to just really have a very small amount. And when you're testing, when you're doing the sugar elimination, I wouldn't have it at all because, um, it, it does have an effect. So you want to see the effect for at least a week and a half with zero sugar or sugar type things like honey. But then after, you know, you do that, you can test some of these more healthy um, caloric sweeteners. So natural ones. So like this is raw. This is not filtered. This is local. When you get local honey, it just has so many beneficial effects for you. So anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed this and found it informative. And please ask any questions in the comments. And I will see you another time. Bye-bye.